What's up, guys? <laughs> Avalanche Hobbies here. HSI Hobbies. Um, we're going to be doing a review on this Ford Fiesta RS World Rally Car um, by... Uh, let's see who makes this thing. Cool Speed. <laughs> I usually refer refrain from uh, buying these toy-grade RC cars uh, myself because... They're toy great. They're usually very slow or very disappointing. Um, but I just love Rally. And this one just looks awesome. Um, has the lights, working suspension, 28 scale, nice little size. I figured, hey, what the heck, man. Let's let's pick it up and let's take it home and let's crack it open. Uh, so today I'm going to crack it open and we'll see what it's about. Um, I'm probably going to have to make some upgrades to it if I'm not happy with it the way it goes stuck. So um, if we do have to come to that and make an upgrade to it. Uh, I will make another video on that later on, but let's crack this thing open and see what it can do. Alright, we don't care about the box too much. Look at that. Pretty cool size. Uh, let's see what it's going to take to get this thing out of here. Oh, cool. Just twist off tabs. I like that. No, uh, no wires or anything. Here's the car. Transmitter, we got forward and backward, left and right. It's just clicky controls. There's no proportional steering or throttle on this, which I did not expect there to be, but um, it's whatever. And then we got the car itself. Pretty nice, actually. It's got a Castro Edge livery, livery on it. Here's the suspension. Uh, leaves a lot to be desired. I wasn't really expecting much, honestly, but uh, it doesn't look like the back has any suspension at all. This is going to be a pretty bumpy ride if you take it anywhere off-road, so I wouldn't actually do any rallying with this. This is more like your uh, living room type of car, smooth floors. Uh, let's put some batteries in it. Alright, we found a penny here. Uh, it's got a little coin slot. I'm going to turn that, push this down. Uh, 600 AA batteries. We got some right here. We're going to use alkaline batteries for RC cars, guys. The heavy-duty batteries are just going to run out fast. Of course, it only uses an odd number of batteries, so we're going to be left over with uh, one extra battery. You gotta love that, but whatever. Uh, so that's 1.5, 4.5 volts, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, I'm going to crack this open real quick and put some batteries in this. Another 600 batteries. Alright, we got a little screwdriver here. We're going to crack this open. Uh, this is probably going to use AAA if I'm not mistaken. Hopefully I am. Nope, two double A's. So now we got to use that one battery we had left over. And then open another four pack only to have three batteries left over. I hate this uneven number stuff. Okay, let's turn her on and see what happens. Power button. So if the power button's on, this cannot open. Uh, but we're going to secure the uh, lock latch here just in case. See if it works. Gonna turn. Got steering. Oh, and we got throttle. Okay. Uh, let's see what it can do on the uh, smooth floor here. All right, guys. First test run. Um, just by running up the motor, I, I can already tell that it's gonna be pretty disappointing. Uh, but let's try to make the best of it. All right, here we go. Oh, it's already out of range. Are you kidding me, dude? <laughs> it's got about a 10 foot range. <laughs> it's got about a 10 foot range. So this is this is one you're gonna have to follow around here. Oh my, this is terrible. This is terrible. So bad. Look at that. You see where the car is and where I am. It's not. It's like what 10 feet, and it's not getting signal. Let's, let's get a little closer here. See if we get a response. Here we go. Be able to do some donuts. It's like some miraculous uh, turn of events here where we're actually able to get some donuts. That's top speed about, uh, let me see, very terrible turning maybe. It is a little out of trim, so let's see if we can trim it here. Okay, so it's turning to the left a little bit, so we're going to go to the right on the trim. Now it's going to be even added more trim out of the action the other way. 
Ah, good enough. <laughs> it does have a little bit of oversteer. Uh, let's full speed back and forth. Oh, you can do a little sharpshooter with it. You just give it throttle, cut the throttle, then. I like the lights on it. Full speed run right there. <laughs> oh, lost signal. I'm surprised it can do somewhat of a donut. Um, but yeah, guys, I mean, this is probably one of those NKOK Chinese 27 megahertz. Um, in the next video, we're gonna see if we can put a three cell lipo. <laughs> we're probably gonna blow it up, but uh, I'm gonna try to adapt the three cell lipo to it. And I'll see if I can do anything about the terrible, terrible range that it has because that's you can't go past 10 feet before you lose signal. Um, let's take a little closer look at the car here. The, uh, the back wing is solid plastic, so you shouldn't have to worry about that breaking. Or you shouldn't have to worry about anything breaking because it's so slow. Um, this is, does seem like a Lexan body. If you're used to hobby grade cars, this is a Lexan. It, is, it does give a little bit. And the tires are rubber, but they're just. They're very thin, if you can see that. They seem to come off pretty easily, so we might have to glue those in place if we give this thing a little bit more power. Um, yeah, just a basic toy grade. The lights are nice, though. I'm surprised it has lights. That's pretty cool. It doesn't have rear lights, but it does have front lights here. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it is what it is. $10, toy grade, you know. You can't expect much for that. Um, it would be fine if the range wasn't so terrible. I would be fine with it, but uh, we might have to adapt a uh, spectrum ground controller to it or something. But I'm going to tear it open in the next video, and uh, we'll see what we can do to it as far as upgrades go. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think. Have you seen anything like this? Have you have one yourself? Have you upgraded one? Let me know.